the deprived neighbors so that they can use them. <laughs> Next order, sorry. Order number eight. Order number eight, the National Lottery Bill, National Assembly Bill number 69 of 2023, second reading. Honorable members, I've been advised that the matter at order number eight was dispensed of already, so we'll skip it. And before we go to order number nine, allow me to give some direction on order number 10 in consideration of the conflict of interest bill. Honorable members, you will recall that during the afternoon sitting yesterday, Tuesday, 28th November 2023, I allowed the member for Arieda, the Honorable Dr. Otienda Molo, Senior Counsel EBS MP, to raise concerns on the contents of the Conflict of Interest Bill 2023. The concerns were also contained in his two letters to the Speaker dated 21st November 2023. In prosecuting the matter, Honorable Members, the Honorable Member queried the constitutionality of various provisions of the Bill and highlighted particular concerns with a number of provisions. This included the definition of the term public officer, and the singling out of members of parliament and members of count assemblies in the bill. The shift from self-regulation of public bodies to the supervision of an all public officers by the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission, ESCC. And the obligation on public officers to include their spouses in their wealth declarations. Roman members, during yesterday's sitting, I did also allow the leader of the majority party as the sponsor of the bill and other members to vote, ventilate on the concerns raised by the Honorable Tienda Molo. In the ensuing debate, it was reported that the Departmental Committee on Justice and Legal Affairs, JLAC, was at an advanced stage of reconsidering the bill. The Vice Chairperson of the Committee, the Honorable Mwengi Mutuse, did confirm that the Committee was seized of the matter and the concerns and had taken the mean to account in its consideration of the bill. Consequently, I guided the House to await the tabling of an addendum to the report of the Justice and Legal Affairs Committee on the bill. The report and the addendum would inform my ruling on the concerns raised by the Honorable Member for Arieda. Honorable Members, I note that the Chairperson of the Justice and Legal Affairs Committee tabled an addendum to their report on the conflict of interest bill 2023 during today's morning sitting. From a perusal of the addendum, it is clear that the committee has addressed itself to the concerns raised by the Honorable Dr. Tienda Molo and indicated its views on the said concerns. Additionally, arising partly from the concerns of the member, the committee has proposed amendments for consideration by the House. As a member of the Justice and Legal Affairs Committee, the Honorable Dr. Tienda Molo MP yesterday did confirm, having participated in the deliberations of the committee during its rec reconsideration of the bill. I am therefore satisfied that the tabling of the addendum and the proposal of further amendments by the committee now sufficiently allows the House to consider the bill and the amendments at the committee of the whole House. As I conclude, honorable members, permit me to reiterate the significance of the Conflict of Interest Bill 2023. As aptly put by the leader of the majority party, the bill seeks to breathe life into the provisions of Chapter 6 of the Constitution on Leadership and Integrity with a particular focus on conflict of interest. As the House is aware, the bill seeks to repeal and replace the Public Officer Ethics Act 20. 2003, which has never been fully updated to accord with the Constitution. The importance of the ongoing deliberations on the form and content of the bill cannot be overstated. I thank the Honorable Member for Arieda for raising pertinent issues and which can only assist the House to actualize a critical chapter of the Constitution. I am satisfied that the bill may proceed for consideration at the Committee of the Whole. The House is accordingly guided. And allow me, Honorable Members,
to thank the Rarieda member for a thorough reading, understanding and appreciation of the bill and the majority leader for equally rising to the occasion to meet the expectations bestowed on him. I now direct that when you go to committee stage, you proceed to consider all the amendments filed by whichever party so that the bill can move to the next level. I thank you. Next order. Order number nine, the Gambling Control Bill, National Assembly Bill number 70 of 2023, second reading. Majority Leader. Thank you, Honorable Speaker.